All right, so we've got our kit laid out in front of us. Frame, sled arms, and the spacer clip. Got three diamond files, flat rectangle, a tapered flat, and a tapered round. So, first step, test fit that the clip fits in the holes. You want a nice, easy fit, not an interference fit. Check both ways on both sides. just in case when you assemble it it's not exactly the way that you put it together so this one's a bit tighter so we'll file out that hole it'll be okay but we'll take a little bit water's just to keep the dust down tapered file just on the inside it's probably enough do the water and the dust. Easy. Don't make that too loose, but you don't want it too tight. Okay. The next step is grab the frame and then the same way that you would file a nice rounded edge all the way around, especially in the tangs, we want to do just on the inside leading up to the ear as a ramp so that it prevents a bit of delamination or anything that could happen if the sleds are too tight when you go to fit them. Don't do these front edges because those are the contact points for the sleds. Only needs to be very light, just enough to prevent any issues. Both sides. Next step is to test fit. Tangs go to the sides, slide it in, and you'll see that it'll be very tight, so it doesn't need to be forced too much. That's not going to go any further, nor is that side. Bit of a gap there, we want this point to line up with that edge. So, easiest way to pop them on and off, two fingers on either side. You want to keep it square, uh, perpendicular with the edge when you're pushing, don't let it lean because that will cause issues. Now we have to clearance this so that we can fit. Contact points are this side and that side so we'll take a little bit off the top edge on both the front and the back. For that flat file. I usually just use the edge of the table, keep it perpendicular and don't take too much in one cut. Flip it over get rid of the dust, test fit it again going to go further this time but not a great deal so we can take a fair bit more off that but the idea is to take a little bit each time and test fit it multiple times I've fitted up a few of these so I'm going with a bit of a deeper cut I'd suggest you take quite a few goes at this for the first time if you do happen to make it too loose, once you get it fitted up, a drop of CA glue 
should be able to hold it all in position. So once you get it close, it'll snap, it'll creak, and it'll snap down like that. So that one's on there. If you really need to, I drop a C8 in the contact areas and possibly along this edge should stiffen the whole thing up even more. But you'll see in a minute, it's very stiff even as it is. As you work the frame in and out testing, it will scuff and it will uh, wear a little bit there which will make a slightly looser fit. So if it's quite close, push it on and off a few times and that will probably get you to where you need to be. So, test fit the other side. The reason we're taking material off the sleds rather than the frame is that it should then work in all orientations. needs a bit more You don't want to push this too hard, it can be quite hard to get them back off. That's not going to go. It needs a bit more relief. helps if you get it in the right side. Okay, that's not too tight. You can fit both sides. And there we have it. Now, that's going to be pretty tight as it is, but just in case racing you have a crash the back could pop in just like the front here okay because the front would normally be held out by the camera but the back could pop in like that in a good crash so that's what the clips for the reason I've popped the front in is so that we can fit the clip by expanding the back as the front moves in so, we've already tested that the clip fits in easily. Curve goes towards the frame. Put one side in, just gently, and it'll be sitting off to the side. Now we're going to pull outwards with the sleds and push inwards with the clip. Should pop into the hole, then you can push it in. It should be a bit of a snap and a pop. And then pop the sleds back out at the front. A little bit more. There we go. And there you have it. If there's a little bit of a gap here that you're not happy with, you can clearance these a little bit more to get it further out, but it should look pretty much exactly like that. They're very strong, don't bounce too much, there's not much flex, and that's how you set one up.